Woodston and Dingle. Woodston and Dingle. Tickets, please. Thank you. Thank you. More people using the train now, Mr. Lumpkin. Aye, oh, since they stopped buses. <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Sybil, isn't it? <laughs> had an idea we might be seeing you. Yes? Your father being ill, I, I thought you'd be up. Well, I hoped you'd be up. Thought you'd lost me. You can't deny it's a long time since you stepped off this train. Ages. And you've not been here by motor car and all that. Uh, how is my father? Oh, he's been bad. Very bad. Yes? Took him sudden. But he'll be the better for seeing you. I hope so. Shall you have a taxi to the house? I'd like to walk through the wood. Oh, it's looking nice now. Sybil! Sybil! Dad? Hello? Usual place, my love. Dad, you're better. So, so. Out of bed. Wonderful. I never thought to find you out here. I was afraid... Well... You might be too late. Mrs. Worksop, in her letter, she said she thought it might be serious. I think it was. She'd been telephoning, but uh, I was away. Yes? I came back this morning, found her letter and telegram. I rang her. Hurry, she said, hurry. Uh, she gets panicky. <laughs> George away too? He's always away. Hurry, she said, so I got the train. So fast now. Uh, I prefer the train. I remember. <laughs> Ages since you were here. Ages. Busy? George is. Ah, George is always busy. I fill in the time. Children all right? They seem so. Good. Sit by me. The same old seat. Oh, yes. <laughs> we sat here together so often. Uh, when you were small. You reading to me. Winnie the Pooh and all that. Yes. The children like the schools? I think so. They don't say much when they write. Uh. I thought I heard Rover bark. No. When I was coming up through the wood, I was sure I heard him bark. Uh, Rover's dead. You never said. <laughs> An old dog. The winter finished him. But you never said. Sorry. You came to meet me, Dad. Aye. I needed a walk, fresh air. I had to be shut in. I remember. Yes? Of course. The wood hasn't changed. Hardly. Some of the trees gone. Elms. Mm, sad. Remember... Summer evenings, me coming home from the office. I'd meet you at the station. You'd raise your hat to me, little girl in a dirty dress. You'd raise your hat and take my hand and we'd cross the field and up through the wood, singing our song. All through the night, there's a little brown bird singing. <laughs> I remember. And then we had toast and jam. And strong tea. You like strong tea. To give you strength, you said. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Well, well. Mm. Uh, and George is away just now. He's always away. Business? Yes. And you fill in the time? Voluntary work. Oh. Meals on wheels, all that. I don't care to be idle. Oh, I remember. Your busy little pill, you called me. I am. By Jove, you were. I still have the bookmark you made me, the slipper bag, <laughs> the comb case. And the feather pen. The quill, oh, yes. But it wouldn't write. No. Oh, I was so sad it wouldn't write. <laughs> I remember. You're all right out here? Yes. Not feeling cold? No, not at all cold. You look so... so alive. I am very much alive. You haven't looked so well for ages. You haven't been for ages. Sorry. Meals on wheels? Yes. No. There. Uh, Shame. You ashamed? Oh, I don't know. Why did you send the children off? To school. Why? George wanted it. Ah, uh, George. Snobbery. Are you a snob? Do you think so? You weren't. I hope not now. So? Why let the children go? George. Overbearing. Poor George. Poor me. Poor children. They seem happy. And George... So overbearing. Well, all our friends... Mm, send the children off to school. I am a snob. Or a coward. Or... What? Well, 
I let them go. Mm. And now you fill in your time. Oh, hell. Silly business. Tragic. You shivered. It's a cool breeze. Shall I fetch your coat? A rug? No, yeah, no, no, I'm comfortable, my dear. <laughs> Coming home from the office all those years ago. On the train, I'd think of you, waiting for me after school. In a dirty dress. You didn't mind? You brought me home. Oh, Dad. You never thought you might... Well, you didn't ever want to... To remarry? Yeah, I know you and Mother were close. I was afraid to lose what I had. Me? You. I thought it was because of Mother. You hardly knew your mother. But I was told about her. You loved her deeply. Who told you that? Aunts, uncles. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they knew. A shotgun wedding. Dad! Because of me? I wanted you. She didn't care. And so she left? Well, after a little time, she left. You never said. Should I? But are you sure? Are you sure she didn't care? Over and done with now. Robert writes from school. Faith hardly at all. Did I forsake them? Did you? She thinks so. I'm sure she thinks so. Have them home. How can I? You have a lovely home. Empty. Then bring them home. So beautiful, so cool, so spacious, tasteful and empty. When you came that once, so long ago, you didn't stay. No. George's home, not mine. You live there more than George. Not me. George's wife. Rover? Rover's dead. I love it here. This arbour, the beaches, your lovely lawns. <laughs> Who cuts them now? I do, when I'm well. There's our oak. <laughs> Much. Uh, slow growers. Remember how carefully I held it while you filled in the earth? I remember. Taking care we didn't hurt the roots. Tenderly, tenderly, you said. Oh, Dad. I wish I'd known you were so ill. Over and done with now. I've stayed away such ages. Filling your time. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> with a lover? <laughs> oh, God. Not that. That might have helped. No, no. Just emptiness. George away, coming home with blank eyes, blank face. He likes the German Fräuleins, he says. Mm -hmm. Poor George. Poor me. No. So empty, Dad. Why did you never tell me? Shame or something. <laughs> oh, don't. Too many memories. Bring the children here. Here? Yes, bring them here. Live here. The house is yours. Mine? Of course. And George? Oh, yes. I remember. You never liked George. Jealous, I thought, when I brought him here. Jealous when I married. Over and done with now. I didn't like him either. No. You knew. And I knew you knew. Yes. He attracted me. Vital. Tough. Cruel. Not like you at all. Did I want to hurt you? Perhaps. I loved you too much. Perhaps. Oh, Dad. So empty. Faith writes to me. She never said. Long letters. Aye. She'll miss me when... Uh... There's ages yet. You're better. You're not old. There's ages. Bring, bring her here. She'll like this home. And, and, and Robert, too. The river to fish. The wood. <laughs> hey, I'd like them here. You're possessive. With me, you were possessive. You went away. To escape. Perhaps. Over and done with now. Bring them here. I want them here. The sound of them around the place. It's been so dead. You're shivering. Getting cold. Nearly dark. Let's go in. I'll make us coffee, like I used to. Forbidden. Coffee? <laughs> An old man, my dear. Only milk at night. You hate milk. <laughs> well, well. How are the mighty fallen? Make some coffee to celebrate. My coming home? You're coming home to stay. To stay? Stay? 
But George... Over and done with now. I'll make the coffee. Come on. You go on. I'll follow slowly. An old man's pace. You don't look old. You move so lightly. <laughs> remember how you taught me cricket? <laughs> I remember. You were very good. At bowling? I bowled you out. Once. I'll make the coffee. Don't be long. The dew's so heavy. Oh, Mrs. Worksop. You startled me. I'm making coffee. I thought I thought you were a ghost. <laughs> Very lively ghost. When did you arrive? Oh, half an hour ago. Something like that. Shame. Shame. I beg your pardon? You just missed him. Missed him? Your father. Oh, no, I meant... He... He passed away. Mrs. Wagsa... Just a few minutes gone. The doctor's with him now. No, I... But he wouldn't have known you. Unconscious. I... Oh, dear. His favourite cups. Now, tell the doctor you're here. Oh, what a shame. He might have roused. But if he'd known you were here... He might have roused. If only you'd come straight up. I couldn't. I didn't need... He needed you. I'll tell the doctor. Dad. Dearest Dad. I didn't tell you. Dad, I didn't tell you. I love you. Oh, God. The house so empty. 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 In Over and Done With by Julia Jones, Carol Heyman was Sybil, Jack Watson, Father, Christian Rodsker, Mr Lumpkin, Julia Jones, Mrs Worksop. The director was Sean McLaughlin.